organized with them guys it is really just unorganized and I literally I felt like I was in a crack house January 7th of this year I went to Jolie plastic surgery so they tell you that you have to be there um, to do your pre-op no later than noon. So I flew out the day before to have my pre-op, okay? Um, so I got there. I probably arrived. It was mm, right at 11.30. And then you get ready to sign paperwork, a lot of paperwork. So I signed paperwork. After I signed that paperwork, then this one chick takes you in a room and you take off all your clothes and she takes photos of you and you take a photo um say you're facing forward then you turn to the right then you turn to the left then you turn um i believe you turn around and then you do the same it was like six or seven different photos that they they take of you angles okay so then after they do that, you put your clothes on, um, you go back into like the waiting area and I had to see the, the nurse practitioner. So I see her, she takes my vital signs, like blood pressure and all that, asks me about my medical history. After I see the nurse practitioner, I went to the front and I had to pay for my um, binder and I had to pay for my drug screen. Um, the drug screen was $25 and I forgot how much the binder was. I don't remember. Um, if I can figure it out, I'll put it in the description box. So after I pay for those, then the lady, uh, another lady calls me, uh, to the, to the back or to her little desk area and she gives me my binder and everything and then I leave and this is, um, around 3 30 ish when i left jolie plastic surgery mind you i got there by 11 30 and then they say okay well somebody's gonna call you to let you know what time you need to be uh to the clinic so i said okay i'm gonna call you like around five or so i'm waiting they ain't called me till like around i think six um around six they called me so they was like, okay, you need to be to the facility about um, five, about 5.45. I'm there about 5.50. I go in. It was, it looked like nobody was at the facility. I was like, am I supposed to be here? And so I went to the uh, door and the door was open, got in, everything, um, the lady called me back. I didn't even get to warm my seat up. She called me back. Um, she gave me a cup to go pee in, which was the drug screen back. I didn't even get to warm my seat up. She called me back. Um, she gave me a cup to go pee in, which was the drug screen. So I went pee in there, pee in the cup. And then uh, after I was through, I came out the room. And then she took me into another room, set the cup on the desk, and then she was like, okay, well now, um, she had to go get her camera, because then she had to take pictures of me. I'm like, all these pictures, my God. So then she take pictures of me, and I, uh, I have on the paper scrub, she gave me the compression stockings to put on, and then the doctor comes in, he comes in, marks me up, we chat, probably less than 10 minutes, <laughs> um, so then I'm just sitting, waiting, then the anesthesiologist comes in, she talks to me, asks me about my history, um, and then she was back to the room, and y'all, the operating room, I was like, what in the world is this? Like, it was just like, it reminded me of, like, it was not like a regular OR, like at a hospital, it wasn't nothing that I was used to, but I was like, oh my, it just was kind of like old looking, you know? And so I was a little scared, you know? I ain't gonna lie. 
So then I get on the table and um, she's like, okay, I'm gonna start your IV. So she uh, started my IV um, and I remember her putting, after she started the IV, she put on some oxygen and then I remember waking up. <laughs> Like literally just waking up. After she put the oxygen on, I fell asleep and then I woke up and it was all over with. That quick, y'all. Um one second, y'all. That's my son. Come on in. Come in. He wanna give me a kiss, y'all. Well come give me a kiss. And tell my friends hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell him, hey. Hey. <laughs> now give me a kiss. All right, love you. Let me finish. Bye bye. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Go close my door. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. You're so cute. Well, thank you, baby. All right, y'all. So then I wake up, um, and it was so cold in there. Oh my gosh, it was so cold. Um, I just remember shaking. And I remember um, she, the lady was trying to get me out the bed so I can go. And this is one thing, and I think it's just like these clinics. Like, I just felt so rushed. Like, she wasn't, I'm still feeling this anesthesia, but she trying to rush me out the bed. And so I had came, I went in, I had like this long red shirt, and I had on these black pants. And so all I had on was the red sh like the long red shirt that i had came in i didn't have the pants on and so she's trying to get me out the bed i'm like ma'am i'm not getting out this bed until i put my pants on she was literally trying to rush me i had to put my foot down ma'am i am not getting out this bed until i put my pants on so we put my pants on and everything and i'm so cold um but i just felt like they were just so like just rude and um like I just felt like it was just a rush job. Just, just wham, bam, you done, now it's time to go. They give me paperwork telling me when my post-op uh, visit was gonna be, which was the next day. So, the time was between nine and 12, is what they said. It really don't matter what time you get there, be honest with you, because you're gonna be sitting for a while, like a long time. And I feel like, organized with them guys it is really just unorganized and I literally I felt like I was in a crack house being honest with you I felt like I was literally in a crack house because just the way that they make you feel it's like you done with your surgery now you gotta go and y'all they had so many women on the on the pre-op day so many women just in and out in and out being honest with you i felt like i was literally in a crack house because just the way that they make you feel it's like you done with your surgery now you gotta go and y'all they had so many women on the on the pre-op day so many women just in and out in and out and some of the women was was in there they had their robes on and they had their compression stockings on that were white, that were bloody, old, dry blood. It was disgusting. And I was like, like, how you even, I, I understand you just had surgery, but how do you come out the house like that? Like, put some clothes on because don't nobody want to see that nasty, dry blood. Like, you know, like, I have to sit on that chair that you just got off of. And you all bloody, like, just just nasty okay it was just nasty um but that's just how they they rock i mean is it was just i was just grossed out by it grossed out all right yeah so um just the overall of the facility it just the way the women came in it was just like just i didn't like that the atmosphere of the environment. Um, okay, so I had my surgery on a Tuesday. So that was Wednesday. I went to my first post-op. And then Thursday, nothing. Friday, nothing. Saturday. So Saturday, I went in 
uh, to have my drains removed. And they said if your drains, if you're drain less than like 25 cc's in a 24 hour period, then you can have your drains removed. And I had two drains. So I was draining probably about, probably like 25, 30 ish. But they went on ahead and removed the drains. Um, uh, so they just basically, they're, they have a suture, um, like a stitch, so the drains don't come out. So they just snip it, and then they pull the drain out. Um, it's pretty long, like probably this long. Um, it doesn't hurt, but it just feels uncomfortable. Um, but I did feel a whole lot better once they took the drain out. And let me backtrack. Um, so remember I said I had my surgery on Tuesday um, and then that for those of you that have not watched my other videos um, I got like really lightheaded and end up going to the hospital okay so that was Tuesday night so when I went in Wednesday you would think and I and when I went in Wednesday I told them hey um, you know I'm feeling lightheaded I'm not I'm feeling like I'm gonna faint you would think they would say oh well let me check your vitals did they check my vitals no ma'am they did not so I was just like man this sucks like what like what kind of care like what are they doing you know what I'm saying um so anyway on Saturday um they took my drains out and then you don't see the doctor after that the only time that I seen the doctor was on um surgery day you would think oh you would see him pre-op nope i was like okay well surely i'm gonna see him the day after surgery nope okay surely he's gonna remove my drains nope so just the care the level of care i don't feel like it's for the patient i just feel like it's just a wham bam let's get this done it's no real patient care um you know i just it was just a horrible experience for me um yeah that's all i can say it's horrible um so if i had to rate them on a scale from zero to ten uh i probably would say Hmm, I'm gonna be generous and I'm gonna say a three. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say a three. Would I go back to them? No. And it's not like my surgery was real cheap. <laughs> I paid 6200 and that was just to the surgeon. You know, um, of course they didn't my recommendations if you're looking for like a top-notch type facility it's not gonna be Jolie not Jolie plastic surgery oh let me get let me oh I forgot to tell you all good stuff I didn't realize that they are located in like a shopping center yeah you heard me like a shopping center um like Chase was across the street but in the same parking lot they had starbucks they had like an insurance place i'm like what is this yeah in a shopping center huh and then like whenever they wheel you out you you're leaving out like the back door not the front door but the back door like you're a piece of meat we're done with you you can go type stuff yeah, like, just, it just felt, like, real shady, like, you know? But, um, yeah, and multiple people, you know, I've seen videos of girls, oh, I'm going back to Jolie, <laughs> not me, you can keep it, huh, you hear me? You can keep it, nope, I wouldn't go back, not even if it was, they was going to give it, give me the surgery for free, nope. Not going back, but uh, so I'm sure y'all would like to see what I look like three months post op. I know some of you don't really know what I look like before, um, and I'm just not trying to be that type of person to be like really exposing myself because you know, everybody's you never know who's watching your channel, 
you know and of course I want to conduct myself in a, a manner that a young lady should be conducting um I still have some swelling so you know what time it's gonna go down and everything but um like I said I'm happy and so as you know I, like I said, I had the mommy makeover, and of course, they do lipo, but they don't do enough lipo. So, I am going back for lipo. Little lipo, little lipo. They're going to lipo my back and some more of my stomach, and you know. So, uh, I'm excited about that. And so, I'm going to try my hardest. Um, to get better footage this go round, like I'm going to try and um, you know just get good good footage for you guys that are interested in having you know the lipo um, um, just so y'all can kind of see what to expect you know going to Miami so I'm just gonna try to get as much footage as I can this go round so if you guys have any questions or if you want me to try and shoot um, footage on a particular thing um, just leave it in the comments and this time it, it, it will be different um, because I'm going to be staying at a recovery home. I'm going to be going by myself. Last time I went with my sister-in-law. But this time I'm just going to do the journey by myself. So huh, that's going to be interesting. Um, but I'm excited. Um, and it's going to be in July. Hopefully I'll or not. And I'm definitely going to get that footage. Um, so you guys can see the journey. Um, you know that. That I'm gonna be embarking on, and I'm just gonna take you guys with me, and we're gonna have a blast. I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm excited. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Before I go, if you knew, if you not knew and you returning and you have not hit that subscribe button, would you wait? No, just like hit it, like click, bam, it's over with. You know, turn on your notifications so you can see when your girl upload another video. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.